What up, what up, what up, go-getters? Yup, I'm outside trying to make it look a little different. You know, not coming with the same, same sceneries. Anyway, you know, it's me, Professor Gooden, getting ready to cover how to find the area and perimeter of rectangles in a coordinate plane. This, again, is another assignment that I have given to you online in Moby Max. Um, as before, I noticed that some people are not getting this correct. So I just wanted to give you a little refresher. Maybe you forgot how to do it. Not really sure. So let's go right into it. Finding the area and perimeter of rectangles in the coordinate plane. So here is an example right here. The question is right over here. Find both the area and the perimeter of this rectangle. Just to remind you, perimeter means the outside measurement. What is the outside measurement all the way around this rectangle? So what do we know about rectangles? We know that two of their sides are identical, okay? They're parallel sides. So these two will have the same length and these two will have the same length. What do we need to do? Find the length of them. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to start here at my vertex, all right? So this is my zero. One, two, three, four, five. So that means the length of this side right here, I'm going to try to keep it straight, is five units. So that means the one down here is also what? Absolutely. It's also five units. So now we need to figure out what is the measurement of our sides, our, our the other ones that are parallel. So let me go ahead and get, uh, let's go with green. So let's count the side, the, the measurement. Zero, one, two, three, four. So this line segment has a measurement of four units, which means the opposite side also has a measurement of four units. How do we know? Because it's a rectangle, two identical pairs. So how do we calculate the perimeter? Well, we have five plus five gives us 10. And then we have four plus four gives us eight. So 10 plus four is 18 units, okay? If you need to rewind that and watch it, go ahead and do so. Okay, so now let's continue with finding the area. We studied area, guys. What do we know about a rectangle and its area? Well, we know that we can use the formula. Does anyone remember the formula for area of a rectangle? Uh-huh, area equals base times height. Or some will say, what about length times width? Well, base times height is the correct one to use. But if you use length time, there's really no width in this. It's just base times height. So let me just keep it real with you guys. So what is our base? Our base is five. And our height is four. So we're going to multiply those two units of measure. So we have five times four gives us 20. And we're talking about area, which is a two dimensional. So it is 20 units square. So I'm not really sure if the camera is going in and out, not really sure, but as long as you're able to see what I did here, that's all that matters. Please, please go ahead, have a great day, and let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy!